The road from Monrose to Durango crosses the rugged San Juan Range, one of the most scenic parts of Colorado. The section leading to Ore is particularly colorful, especially in October. Durango is famous for its narrow gauge railroad to Silverton. It is a very popular and enjoyable journey that must be booked well in advance. The railroad runs through the mountains of the San Juan National Forest, climbing to 7,200 feet and following the Animas River. The line has been in continuous operation since 1882. in Silverton, there is time to explore this old mining town that prospered after the first major silver strike in 1871. The well were water. Between 1882 and 1918, the mines generated more than $65 million in ore, making Silverton a very rich town. The richly decorated buildings of its main street are still a clear evidence of the opulence of Silverton's Bonanza years. Again. Not much left but the Mesa Verde is the most famous American archaeological site due to the number, the size and the excellent state of preservation of the buildings. There are 4,000 separate historical ruins that preserve a spectacular reminder of the 1,000 years old Anasazi culture. The Anasazi were good builders, artistic in their crafts and skillful in making a living from a difficult land. Their dwellings, built beneath overhanging cliffs, were made of sandstone, cut and cemented with mud and water. They spent most of their time in farming and getting food. Archaeologists have been trying to understand the life of the Anasazi, but despite years of excavations, analysis, classification and comparison, our scientific knowledge remains sketchy. Oh, 
timbers running perpendicular to those called secondary to Matias. Even smaller pieces of wood running perpendicular to those, juniper bark and mud. The different levels were accessible by means of a ladder. The Anasazi lived in Mesa Verde for less than a hundred years. Then, suddenly, by the year 1300, Mesa Verde was deserted and nobody really knows what happened. <laughs>